is, can you provide in one sentence as to what you think um, UAL is so white is about? Uh, okay, so it's at the high proportion of UAL, I guess, academic staff from, from a BAME background. Okay. Yeah. Me? Okay. <laughs> I think it's about rebalancing our university to reflect the diversity of our students, current and future, and the city in which we work. I think it's about um, students who've got together who are kind of fed up of what the situation looks like. And so now they're airing their voice and they've got the people behind them, momentum behind them to keep on keep on saying what they need to be saying. Okay. Um, addressing institutional racism within the art system and art education. More or less what it says on the tin that the UAL is just proportionally white in relation to its student body. Um, I think you and your so white students demand injustice from the university. Um, I also think it's a time for staff of all backgrounds to reflect about the diversity of not just the university but in which the society we live in. For me, UAL So White is about the students highlighting a very serious issue which needs to be tackled. Okay, thank you. So the second question is, what do you see as the most important action to liberate the curriculum? I think it needs to be made world class and not one class and we need to reflect the multicultural magic <laughs> of the students at UAL. Thank you. And I think it's about both the nature of the curriculum and accessibility to the curriculum. And I think it's a complex problem in, 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 the, in that sense. And I think uh, the solution needs to be both serious and long term change. Um, and I think I'll stay there because I'll yeah, talk about that later on. Thank you. I'd say it's about overhauling what's there, why it's there, and, and making these critical questions, um, tackling what's been done for 50, 60 years, um, and making it brand new to reflect modern day. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, the curriculum needs to. Um, Add in history of black and brown art first of all, and then talk about the current black and brown artists who also get censored in silence. Thank you. It's about getting away from a single Western narrative and accepting multiple narratives Thank for you. all our goods. Um, I think the way in which we need to liberate the curriculum is to ask for it to be decolonised now. You know, we need to move away from asking for diversity in the curriculum, but maybe looking at ways in which the curriculum is very gendered, um, it's also very biased, sexist and racist. Thank you. I think traditionally curriculums tell a specific story um, and I think the curriculum needs to tell a variation of stories from people from different backgrounds. Thank you. So the last question is, can you state what you understand as the one difference, if any, between the terms equality and justice? Um, for me, I guess I can put it this way. So it's not just about having saying that we're going to have staff that are from a BAME background. I think it needs to be more than that. It needs to also be fair in terms of what we're offering our students, and that's the difference to me, equality and justice. Thank you. I looked at the definitions and. Uh, Equality is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights or opportunities, and I go with that. And justice is the demand for this to be made so in actuality. Okay. Yeah, so I looked up definitions and I thought to myself, actually, what is the difference? Because I previously looked at them as similar, but in reality, you can say everybody is equal, but are they? And what are you doing to redress where we know there are differences so that there is justice. Thank you. So first of all, I think we've got to achieve the um, justice, um, such as social justice and change. And then, because equality is not like anything less important, but it, you know, to have a completely equal state, we have to understand each other, which we, we don't talk about even. So you know, the differences. Thank you. I think equality is useful when it's applied to issues of access and opportunity. I think it's less useful when it's applied as a social term because it doesn't recognise it actually, it doesn't recognise difference. Whereas social justice I think is a better term in terms of that. 
because it, it, it demands the right for, for each individual on their own terms. Thank you. Um, I haven't looked up definitions, but for me, equality in the UK and maybe in the Western world has been muddled up with a lot of metrocracy, metrocracy, so like metocracy, sorry, that's it, metocracy. So I think um, we all believe that everyone can be equal if they all pull up their bootstraps and if they all work hard, but we don't take, we don't look at the um, privilege that some people necessarily have that they're born with. So if you grew up in a two-parent family, you're gonna have a different sort of being if you grew up in a one-parent family, same yeah. as race, same as sexuality. So for me, equal, equality doesn't exist because no one is equal. Whereas justice is understanding that no one is equal and giving people equity in order to access the same sort of opportunities. Thank you, nice. Equality for me, means having an equal playing field and realistically that doesn't happen and with regards to justice um, justice what in, instinctively comes to me is someone who's been wronged so there's, there's a there's a term of giving them justice and um, again within the academic context i don't really have a a, a um what's the word a strong view I, I can't put it into context thank you very much